Hello and welcome to this learning video. We have seen in the very beginning of this uh, topic the different applications of Fourier transform like in the seismogram and also in the wave propagation. Now here in this learning dialogue we will be actually see what is the mathematical application of Fourier transform. So the mathematical application of Fourier tra transform is in the integral equation. So here in this learning dialogue we will see that how Fourier transforms plays a vital role in solving the integral equations. Okay so let us start with here uh, under this application of Fourier transform to integral equation uh, the integral equation is given to you. So the problem says solve the integral equation this where lambda is the parameter. So what you have to do is whatever integral equation is given to you you just have to take that, uh, this integral as a, say some function of it. So you can just write it as let let g of lambda is equal to what is g of lambda g of lambda is integration 0 to infinity f of x into cos lambda x in dx is equal to e bar minus lambda okay now this somewhat looks like Fourier cosine integral uh, for sorry Fourier cosine transform yes the only missing term is under root 2 by pi so I am going to multiply throughout by under root 2 by pi this implies under root 2 by pi g of lambda is same as under root 2 by pi integration 0 to infinity f of x into cos lambda x dx is equal to under root 2 by pi e to the power minus lambda. Any doubt up to this? What we have done? We have just multiplied throughout by under root 2 pi. Fine? Now, this is my Fourier cosine transform, right? So, I am going to take, before uh, I continue, I can write, but under root 2 by pi, okay, let me write. But under root 2 by pi, integration 0 to infinity f of x into cos lambda x dx is equal to Fourier cosine transform. Right? Okay? From where this comes? By definition of Fourier cosine transform. Right? Now, I can, with the help of these two equations, I can certainly write, what I can write? Yeah, here the parameter is not S, here the parameter is lambda. Okay, so what I can write here is Fc of lambda, Fc bar of lambda is nothing but, what is it? This is equal to this, so these are also same. Is equal to under root 2 by pi into e to the power minus lambda. Simple. Now, looking at this, what we have to do, we have to get the solution of this integral equation. Okay, so we have already taken Fourier's transform to the given integral equation. Now, what you have to do is, you just have to apply the Fourier inverse transform. Okay, so you can just write here, taking Fourier, taking Fourier inverse transform, on both sides on both sides we get so what we get we get Fourier cosine inverse of Fourier cosine transform is same as Fourier cosine of this. So Fourier cosine of this can be written as under root 2 by pi integration 0 to infinity Fourier cosine into cos lambda x 
d lambda cos lambda x d lambda okay now once you get this you just need to substitute the value of this over here and uh, then solve just the only thing that you have to take care of in this uh, problem of application of uh, Fourier transform to integral equation is that here the parameter is lambda when we have solved the problem of Fourier transform in the very beginning we have taken parameter to be s so don't get confused in uh, these parameters So this is same as, what is this? This is f of x is equal to, okay? So what is f of x? f of x is equal to, what is it? Under root 2 by pi, integration 0 to infinity. Okay, what is fc bar of lambda? This is under root 2 by pi, e to the power minus lambda into cos lambda x d lambda simple okay now you can continue with this f of x is equal to what is it f of x is equal to under root 2 pi under root 2 by pi so this is 2 by pi remaining is integration 0 to infinity e power minus lambda into cos lambda x d lambda now you can apply the formula that we have already applied here so this is 2 by pi integration of this is 1 upon 1 upon what is this minus 1 square is 1 plus this is x square okay coefficient of lambda we are taking x square into e to the power minus lambda minus 1 into cos lambda x minus derivative of cos lambda is plus x into sine lambda x okay and here you can apply the limits 0 to infinity any doubt up to this no so if not then we can continue further and you can write it as integration sorry 2 by pi apply the limits of the integration so this is 1 upon 1 plus x square now in place of lambda put infinity and then in place of lambda 0 so this is e to the power minus infinity which is 0 so 0 into anything 0 minus lower limit e to the power 0 is 1 and uh, in this bracket you can write minus 1 cos 0 plus x into sin 0 so this get cancelled by the way so this is nothing but 2 by pi into 1 upon 1 plus x square what is this this is 0 minus minus plus 1 cos 0 is 1 sin 0 is 0 so this is this only so my f of x is equal to 2 by pi into 1 upon 1 plus x square. So this is the required solution. Now, a uh, few remarks I would like to make. Uh, you must know what is, uh, you know what is Fourier transform, but you must know what is integral transform. What is integral transform? Inti sorry, integral equation, sorry. So what is integral equation? An, e an equation in which the unknown function occur under the integral sign is called as integral equation. So here the unknown function as you can see is inside the integral sign. So this is integral equation and that is what uh, from the integral equation to find the solution of this integral equation we have to find out this function f of x. Okay that is what we have found out and what would be the working rule for this? So the working rule for this type of uh, problems under the applications, you just take whatever equation is given to you, you just take it uh, to some function of parameter, then apply depending on the problem, uh, you just uh, do some adjustment and see whether it is, uh, whether you can get a Fourier transform or Fourier cosine transform and whatever transform is you are getting, then apply the inverse transform integrate and try to get the function.
okay so i hope this problem is making some sense so thank you for watching this learning video and have a good day thank you very much